The Grizzlies brought back almost everyone from a championship team and added a few new pieces. So naturally, many expect near perfection this season. But unfortunate breaks have already put Montana behind pace in one way. Last year, the Grizzlies started the same five players in every game. They suffered no significant injuries. But now Montana is missing two key contributors. Their most experienced big guy, Jamara Coe, is still out indefinitely with a wrist injury. Head coach Travis DeCure said they won't even reevaluate his playing status for a couple of weeks. And after starting three straight games, sophomore guard Timmy Falls missed Montana's last contest a week ago. DeCure wouldn't comment on the nature of the issue and called Falls day to day. So already Montana's depth is being tested much more than last season. Some of that was luck last year. Um, we had some guys play banged up. We had some guys play through some injuries. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing for us is the sport is about adversity, whether it's long stretches of adversity or during stretches of games or practices and how you play through those. The best athletes play well through adversity. And, and so right now we're being challenged early in the season, which I think is best for us than late in the season. Next up, the Grizzlies take on one of their biggest challenges of the regular season. Montana travels to Creighton tomorrow night. The high-scoring Blue Jays are just outside of the national top 25. They'll tip off in Omaha at 630.